Iron Mouse is a bit too wholesome. As last night, we had a normal tweet coming out from Iron Mouse saying, look who decided to show up, which is what she tweets out when going live on Twitch. And this was a relatively normal live stream from Iron Mouse just having fun with chat until Iron Mouse disappeared off of the screen only to later show up with the head of her new model that she has been teasing on Twitter. Then showing chat half of the body of the model, which looks absolutely amazing, mind you. Then going to show off her amazing dance moves with the rest of the model in an amazing dress. She did of course show us the legs and the shoes that she is wearing in this model and continued to show off some of the other amazing features of this model, which this model I believe captures Iron Mouse's personality perfectly and I adore it. After this stream though, we did have Iron Mouse making a tweet saying, I'm sorry I couldn't wait until debut, do you forgive me? Sharing this picture here of her wishing for your forgiveness. And I do forgive Iron Mouse, the model is absolutely beautiful and I understand not wanting to wait to show it off. If I I had a new model done, I would show it off the day of. I would not wait for debut. I, I'm, I can't do that. I'm bad at secrets. The model is absolutely beautiful though, and I don't think Iron Mouse needs to apologize at all for showing it off a little early. Let me know your thoughts on this amazing new model though. As today, we have some updates on yesterday's situation with Kusu Rico, who had graduated or quote, been fired from her corporation. With the VTuber agency in question, Shira Yuri putting out a clarification regarding Kusu Rico, saying this clarification was made in collaboration with Kusu Rico to clear any misunderstandings. We we believe the talents are free to have their own opinion given that it will not negatively affect anyone else. We ask that individuals refrain from sending our talents unsavory and or hateful messages. The statements made by Kusariko were premature statements without confirmation of management and were made in a timeline where staff members would not have been available. Kusariko has left the agency of her own volition due to the breach of code of conduct. She was not terminated. We hope this clarifies our intentions and wish her good luck in future endeavors. And there are many different opinions on this matter with people saying that Kusariko Rico was actually terminated and the company is just putting this out to be nice. But I'll leave that up to you guys to have form your own opinion on that matter. As we did have Kusariko the VTuber saying, I want to thank the staff at Shiriuri for taking the time to speak with me regarding this matter. They have clarified the fact that I was not terminated and made the decision to leave by myself overnight. I am sorry to S-Pro staff and talents for any harm that has come their way and hope they can forgive me. I will continue to support them earnestly in their endeavors and will always be the talent's number one fan. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything. Everything. I am so sorry it has to end this way. Kusuruko then went on to tweet, and with that, I will be logging off permanently. Thank you for everything. See you in the next life. So let me know your guys' full thoughts on this entire situation, as this is likely the final update that we will get on it. Just a quick reminder to please subscribe, as it really helps out the channel. We did have some more updates on Mary Dog, the author behind a lot of the Meriwether comics, who was getting a lot of hate recently due to an Elon Musk and Twitter comic he had made that I covered on the channel a couple days ago. I try to write joke comics. Some people will never say I'm unfunny and cringe. So I try really, really hard to write serious comics that I think are cool, and some people will inevitably call me try hard and cringe. There is no way to ever win. I can only try my best. Adding on, but please trust me when I say I'll never stop trying. I'll get frustrated, I'll get sad, I'll despair that I cannot make something these people can enjoy too. But I will always try again and try harder. I'll never give up, I'll keep trying, hopefully someday they'll like it. And in my personal opinion, I don't think Mary or anyone for that matter needs to try to appease everyone. No matter what you do, you're always going to have haters and that's just going to happen the bigger you get. There's not much you can do for that. People will find anything they can to hate you for. So at that point, the best thing to do is just ignore the haters and enjoy the love that you get from everyone else. Of course, take honest criticism, but when people are just throwing out hate and death threats, just try your best to ignore that. I know it's easier said than done, though. Let me know your guys' thoughts on that situation, though. As today, we get a look into the parasocial relationship that fans have with VTubers with Hanako saying, this is the prime example of a parasocial relationship. This is extremely excessive and has been commenting on almost all of my posts because I said that I was getting married and I haven't said anything after because it is my business. With this person saying, hi, Hanako, not long ago, your boyfriend mentioned to me on Twitter that you two are getting married yet you haven't said anything yet which is worrying me because it's just your boyfriend saying this and not you too. Which I'm concerned that your boyfriend is telling lies and manipulating you. Please don't take this the wrong way. I'm just looking out for your safety. Hanako added on to this saying to go as far as to say my boyfriend is manipulating me is too much. I've known my boyfriend for nine years. Don't do this. I have my boundaries and this is going way over that line. This is absolutely weird and creepy. I get being concerned 
concerned about someone, but when you are trying to say that their boyfriend is forcing them into marriage and manipulating them into it because this person didn't speak on it more than they already have is really, really weird. Let me know your thoughts on that. With Ulu Market, the brand that does a lot of merch collabs with VTubers tweeting about the collab they are doing with Fifi. I just thought this was super cool that Fifi is collabing with Ulu Market. Of course, there are tons of other VTubers that are collabing with Ulu Market for June, so you could definitely go over to their Twitter account to check that out. The other day, I talked about Vebe from V Shoujo showing off a swimsuit and she tweeted I put a little highlight reel of my bikini if you missed the stream and this was on YouTube of course I'll leave the link to the full clip if you want to view that yeah, but here is the bathing suit here you already got a look at it from the video but here is that version of the bikini and here is the actual bikini but again I'll leave the link to this in the description if you want to check it out yourself as today we also had Zentrea from V Shoujo saying thank you all very much for your support thank you because Zentrea has reached 300 thousand followers on twitch huge congratulations to her for reaching that milestone that is absolutely insane and she deserves every single one of those followers we had an amazing announcement coming out from team youtube tweeting creators live redirect is here help each other grow by redirecting your viewers to other creators live streams and premieres as soon as yours ends more on who's eligible and how we're giving you control over who redirects to your channel and this is essentially the rating feature that twitch already has but the difference between them is that in order for you to be rated on YouTube, you have to be friends and following each other on YouTube. So basically, you and your friends can send each other's audiences to each other, which is super cool. This is a very big step in the right direction for YouTube gaming. We had Diariku from Viyugan tweeting Balloon Day as it is Diariku's birthday today. Happy birthday to her. I hope she has an amazing day. We had Indie VTuber Rainho tweeting this dumb baby got 70k on Twitch today. Thank you. This year has been insane. Let's keep the grind going, boys. And huge congratulations to Rainho for reaching 70,000 followers on Twitch that is absolutely insane. As we also had Shy Lily tweeting, thank you guys so freaking much. You changed my life. I can't believe the crazy support you guys are showing me. I love you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Because she has reached 400,000 followers on Twitch. Huge congratulations to her. All of these VTubers are growing at amazing rates and I cannot wait to see each and every one of them achieve even higher heights in the future. Yesterday I talked about Whole Alive and Valkyrie Connect doing a collab together with Valkyrie Connect saying here are some hints for one of the Whole Alive members appearing in Valkyrie Connect. Some Sometimes uses a Kansai dialect. Tensho loves Usada Pekora. Showing this off saying, who's this? Guess who will appear? Answers will be revealed on 510. So again, let me know your guesses on who you believe is going to be in the Valkyrie Connect and Whole Life collaboration. Whenever we do get the answers revealed, I will show you guys on 510. As we also had Lapless Darkness from Whole Alive JP tweeting about reaching 770,000 subscribers on YouTube. Huge congratulations to her and saying that she is getting ready to take over the world. VTubers take over world is good. We had beloved Gargura from Hololive tweeting out this video here of her grabbing the shrimp in 3D, thus showing us that Gargura has returned from her short break. Welcome back, Gargura. Zentrea from V Shoujo tweeted official Gecko plushie artwork 2022, courtesy of Merryweather. We are still working hard on this project, but thank you for being so patient as I know this has been such a requested item for such a long time. Excited and keep your eyes peeled. Showing off this concept art of the plushie. This looks really cute and I cannot wait until this is fully done. Kyo tweeted, not sure what time, either 8 or 9 p.m. EST, but I'm streaming Elden Ring, beating Millennia, and beating the game. The stream doesn't end until I do. Sharing this picture here for how else is a champion or a lord to be born. This is all for me though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you missed yesterday's news, please click the button to my left or right and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.